So I've added a few stitches to get us down to the very first corner. Now if you remember, I just folded over and that left me with two loops here. When I come around the corner, I got to make sure I grab those loops or the rug can unravel. So keep going. I got one, two, three, four, over. This goes under. This grabs the red, gray. Sometimes it's a little tough. If it gets too tight or you're pulling too tight, loosen up. And the other thing you could do is use a pencil and just sort of use the eraser side and poke it up through. And you see how this is big? I could cure that by just twisting it. And now it's about the same size as the other ones. Now, where is this one going to go? Let's see here. I just put it in gray. Let's put it in this red and guarantee that I catch that one loop there. You're always shifting and making sure everything is tidy and neat. So we got one, two, the red comes over, and white. Over, that, and that needs caught. I think I'm going to catch the red next. Now, nice width going on here as I come around the curve, but I've got this curve to come around, so I'm going to go in the same hole. So that's over, this is under, go back in the same hole that I just was in. Okay, so that's over, this gray should be under. Put it back there, get it popped out, and the white should be over. Gets a little confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Over, white is under, the tan will be over, but I've got to find that other loop, and there it is. Can you see it? It's the gray and white knot. And up goes that bag. Uh -oh. Not enough gray. Need another one. Let's see what happens as soon as I finish off this corner. And this is why you're always going to try to work on a flat surface so you can be pressing down and making sure everything is nice and flat. And the color variations actually adds to the rugs. So I came up through that. I'm still on the curve. I want to make sure I'm still on the curve. Uh-oh, that looks way too long. See? So I can go back in and pull that and tighten it up. That looks better. And you can adjust as you go along. Not every time will be perfect. And I want to go in the same hole because I'm coming around a curve. As the rug gets bigger, you don't have to put it in the same hole as many times. In fact, you'll find yourself only doubling up on a hole when you're on the corner curves. But right now, in the beginning, it takes a lot of it. I want to get that knot up there. There we go. So I can adjust that. A little bit more. Yeah, that looks about the width I want. Ah, add another bag. That's all you seem to get done doing is adding bags when you're working. Because like I said, a rug will take 160 to 200 bags, depending on the size. Uh-oh, that bag is no good. See, these are all the problems that you can have. But it's not really a problem, and they're just plastic bags. Your friends will come and visit you and bring you bags of bags. 
which is really nice. And you don't feel guilty when you go to the store and you have them bag everything in plastic because you know you're going to be recycling it. Over, under, and let's see, where's my next knot? And I think it might be right here. Got to try to get that flat. One, two, three. And I'm still running a little ahead. I may just put this one in the same hole. Until I'm about running evenly with my braid. And then I have rounded my first curl. There we go. And that's running fairly even. Over, under. Tuck it in. And just goes down. One, two, three, four. Adjust it. That looks pretty nice. One, two. Tuck it in. And you're on a straight, so you just keep going. You don't have to ever double on the straights. All you got to do is make sure both sides are even. And if it's a little puff puffy when you put it in, just twist it a little. And there you go. Okay, that's the basics of how you start it and how you come around your first curve. I have a rug started and I'd like to finish it off. So I'm going to show you how I finish a rug. I'm back to one, two, three, four. So, I start and I tie a knot right here. And then, I work the ends in through the rug using my fingers. If it gets tight, I'll use a pencil and poke it through. But you just work your ends through so you don't notice them. And in, in the end, when you have a little bit of a hangout, it really won't pull out because you've been working them through all along. So it doesn't really go anywhere. See how that works in through? And I'll continue that. Same thing as this end. I'll continue that. And when I get those worked in, I'll tie a knot here. And work this end in and that end. And that's how you finish a rug. Hopefully you can understand that. It's a little tricky learning what the width of four bags is and trying to keep tugging it. But when you're done, you'll have a rug that'll last years and it cost you nothing and you didn't have to knit or crochet and you're doing the environment good by using plastic bags. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. So I've added a few stitches to get us down to the very first corner. Now if you remember, I just folded over and that left me with two loops here. When I come around the corner, I got to make sure I grab those loops or the rug can unravel. So keep going. I got one, two, three, four, over, this goes under, this grabs the right gray. Sometimes it's a little tough. If it gets too tight or you're pulling too tight, loosen up. And the other thing you could do is use a pencil and just sort